the things that puzzles me is the extent to which the viewer of a piece of sculpture changes what they see, or is it what I make that changes what they see? I'm an interactive artist, so I work on long running projects that involve people as part of the projects, and I work in a variety of media, so textiles, printmaking, and kind of online things as well. The work that I'm doing right now deals with translation of visual language. So I take imagery and I start it in printmaking processes for the most part, and then I take those images and transpose them into many different media. My practice is primarily nature focused, but since going back to study, doing my MA, it shifted into textiles and I've been looking at the interaction of ruins and nature and looking at heritage sites as a way of exploring cultural deterioration. For my MA, which is in creative practice, I have a research question, which is to understand how abstraction in photography can be used to bring the essence of something alive, which you wouldn't be able to do with an ordinary photograph. I have to ditch preconceived ideas. What I have to do now is to go out and explore and experiment and take risks. So I graduated from university in 2012 and then I was kind of just out in the world for a year not really knowing what to do and I'd been working on my professional practice and freelance for a little while but I found that I really needed some structure. I was really attracted to the way the MA at Leeds is all about kind of your practice that you're already working on outside. I'm a retired engineer and I'm trying to be a sculptor. I did a, a BA in fine art a few years back and they still didn't answer all the questions that I've got to ask. So the MA is designed to answer some of those questions. My previous education, I went to Emily Carr University of Art and Design in Vancouver, Canada. Got a BFA in general visual arts and there I was working mostly with figurative painting, acrylic, sort of stainy washed, uh, photorealistic uh, paintings of people. Those processes lasted about four or five years and I realized that it was time for a change in the way my work was going, so I decided that I should continue my education somewhere else, do an MA, and really get the research time to be able to figure out something that's productive. I've been out of education since 1989. My partner had recently graduated and I got a real passion for reading again. Exploring the sites made me want to delve into the history a little bit more and find conceptual ways of expressing that in a creative way. Well, I completed my BA as a mature student uh, a couple of years ago and then after pursuing one or two projects which I completed I decided that I wanted to take my studies to uh, another level and, uh, and to do an MA. I feel like the MA has really helped me to step up a gear. I think I'm taking my practice more seriously now and I'm doing things like applying for funding that I never would have had the confidence to do before the MA. My work's developed uh, on, on the MA much more quickly than I anticipated, uh, but already undertaken some experimental work that I never would have done before. I think I'm somebody who needs um, discipline and um, I think the focus and the support that you get from the staff really helps. Um, I've, the staff at the Leeds College of Art have been fantastic and supportive and very encouraging. I've been using tremendous use of the workshops and getting a lot of help from the workshop technicians. The support staff at Leeds College of Art is fantastic. I've learned so much from the technicians in the print room and in the painting department and from my personal tutor. Uh, yeah, they've uh, always been willing to help. It's been absolutely great having that kind of guidance over the course of this program. 
I love the facilities at Leeds College of Art and I found the staff and the college itself really nice and friendly. Yeah, I've had a very good relationship with my um, personal tutor over this last year who's um, really supported me throughout my project. So yeah, the staff have been brilliant. What I like about the uh, MA course is the self-directed nature of it. Uh, it's really just everything is coming from me for the most part. And then I have my tutor which I sort of uh, I send everything by and he points me in different directions and gives me really good research ideas. The research end of things has really become something that's been quite interesting to me as well and has developed the work in a huge way. All courses are what you make of them. This one offers a collection of very committed, very accessible people who are willing to be stopped in the corridor and you say, look, I've got a problem. Can I talk to you about that? As far as my work goes uh, post-MA, I hope to work sort of in the same methodologies that I have now, dealing with visual language and its reaction to movement. Uh, not these big massive projects, but really small uh, self-contained projects. Probably I'm going to die after the course. Uh, but it might be that before I do, I'll manage to make the really good piece of sculpture that's in my mind. I found the course excellent um, for me at my stage of career, um, being already a freelance artist. What it has done is just helped me to fine tune my practice focus and see where I fit in the heritage and textiles industry. My plan is to just try to keep on working as an artist. So um, I'm going to be applying for funding in a couple of places and looking at doing some residencies. And I've got some other ideas for more projects to work on. My practice doesn't finish developing at the end of the MA. What this does, it gives me the tool set to be able to continue to develop my practice. So I actually don't really know where it'll go. I think it's a really, really good course to go into the Creative Practice MA. You do get a lot of work done, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of research involved and you have to be the one who's motivating yourself to do it. If you're looking for a course that engages with the work that you're doing, um, this is a really good course to take if you want to kind of move to the next level in your practice. And it's got a thousand or so lovely young people full of life and vitality and balmy ideas and brilliant ideas and suddenly you become young again. I would really encourage anybody thinking about doing the MA in creative practice. It um, pushes you out of your comfort zones. It is challenging and very demanding, but well worth, well worth it. Leeds College of Art has exceeded my expectations. This is a new course. It's only been running for two years. It, it's almost the course that I was waiting for. And um, the other students I'm with, we're, we're a really good crew that gets on well. We went to Poland a couple of weeks ago as a team and we did an exhibition in an art institution there. And uh, it's a very exciting journey.